Yo, yo, yo. What's good? It's your boy Rhino, the people short. How y'all doing? So we back with a heavy hitters another podcast. And this time the topic is gonna be something that a lot of people can relate to if you're a male. And y'all already know what I'm talking about. Of course it's football, but let's get on a little better something. Semi pro football. Yes, semi pro football or minor league football is what we're gonna talk about. If you ever played football, then y'all already know the history of football. The pig skin, the tackles, the big booms, the touchdowns, the woo, whatever the hell you want to call it. But y'all only know it from what perspective? Let's see. High school? Yeah. College? Of course. And what? Pro. What is pro? I mean, that's self-explanatory. It's short for professional. Let's throw the word semi in front of that. What is semi? Semi means somewhat, halfway, almost there, but not really. So semi-pro, almost professional. Bam, bada boom. There you go. That's what semi-professional football is. Or in some people's terms, if um, recreational football, minor league football, if you get paid for it. It is the same freaking thing. Um, The only difference is with semi-pro insurance, you don't really get insurance based off the team. You know what I'm saying? Unless the team can provide their own insurance, whatever like that, which kind of sucks. You know what I'm saying? Because you get hurt. That's why a lot of people don't like playing semi-pro because they be like, oh, I've had, okay, I think it was maybe like my third game of playing semi-pro and I hit the, like, I real deal bang bro in his chest and the nigga got mad. He got mad and he was like, oh, bro, don't hit me that hard. Nigga, I got to go to work on Monday. And I stopped and I look, I say, wait, what? And that's when I found out that semi-pro don't give insurance. You know what I'm saying? Which kind of sucks because you plan a sport that you love, but you're not insured that you would be safe doing that four quarters. So a lot of people don't do it. But I'm here to tell you. Well, I ain't even going to say I'm here to tell you, but we here to talk about this shit, period. Like, screw it. Like, we just going to talk about it. Like, dead ass here. Because a lot of people don't get how semi-pro actually really helps people, bro. You know what I'm saying? Semi-pro back in the day was just like, oh, a bunch of old heads wanting to play. You know what I'm saying? They they come out, they set up this team, they set up the schedule, and they just wanted to play ball. They like they couldn't, they didn't make it professionally. They could probably have some old injury to stop them, but they could still do whatever, so they played semi-pro. Nah, it then banked up to something totally different that a lot of y'all don't know about. There is actually leagues now. You got the IFL, the EAFL, um, the well, the GDFL, uh, the APDFL. Right? Y'all looking like, damn, what is all this? It right? These are these are all kind of semi-pro teams, leagues that's going on. People actually got to pay to get in these leagues. You have to pay, and if you do like, I, I remember playing for the Horsemen, Metro Atlanta Horsemen. And these dudes fought on live television. Like this was li- not like not live television, but it was live Facebook, live uh, live Facebook and live on something else. And it ended up being a big old crazy fight. Like well, guns were draw, quarterbacks knocking at people out and stuff. And people are looking like this. Is why I don't play semi pro? This that and that. I mean, it is what it is. But I know a lot of people that use semi pro and. <clears throat> they didn't really manifest of it. Like the boy uh, Devois that used to play for the Saints. Jit came out of uh, his senior year of high school, broke his neck on the uh, the pole, uh, the, the goal post. I guess he was going for an interception or a touchdown, one like that, played both sides. And he broke his neck. He was an LSU commit, didn't get the goal because he broke his neck. Bro played, I think they say he played like two, three years of semi-pro, got signed to Arena Football. And from Arena... He ended up playing with the Saints seven years. The number say he was the safety, number 43. Google it. Number 43 safety. Devois. D-E-V-E-A-U-X. I forgot his first name. But he was five. Yeah, but a lot of people, I bet y'all wouldn't even know that, yes, a starting, I think, like 10, like even seven to 10 year NFL veteran started off playing semi-pro because he broke his neck. If y'all watched Last Chance Chance You, yes, everybody's Netflix favorite, Last Chance You. If you watch that, the second season, that uh, the the boy, uh, dang, the little running back, I forgot what his name is. 
I don't really be paying attention to that stuff. Like, you know what I'm saying? If it if it ain't in my face, the relativity ain't serious to me. Cause all that that stuff be gimmicks to me. It be it be scripted and all that. I don't really watch all that. You know what I'm saying? So I forgot the boy name. Sorry. Isaiah Washington. Bam, came to me. Yes, Isaiah Washington. I played against him. In semi pro. Yes, he played for the Tennessee. Well, he played at Tennessee. I, the, I, I, uh, the Accor Alloys. He played for them. Yeah. And now he plays professional arena football. You get what I'm saying? Like, y'all don't understand. Semi pro is not just recre- recreation no more. That thing is a manifestation. You feel me? So many coaches have got blessed opportunities for playing semi-pro team. So many coaches have realized that they sorry and suck <laughs> for trying to coach a semi-pro team. Semi-pro will make you or break you. And that is simple as that. You know what I'm saying? My, my experience with semi-pro, I don't knock it, but I'm not really on it no more. Because I realize that you can have the best team and the worst coach, and it would mess it up. I realized that you can have the worst team and the best coach, and it would mess it up. You know what I'm saying? It's all about what you make it. You, you like If you want to play semi-pro just to play semi-pro, then that's what you're going to get out of it. You feel what I'm saying? And that's, why they gonna, that's how they're going to treat you. They're going to they gonna know, too. They gonna sense it. Oh, he don't really wanna play. And you gotta understand, if you a real football player, you gonna be competitive. And anybody's competitive never wanna lose. So shoot, you go out there and you still with that sorry mentality, you still gonna ride the bench and say, my phone, you're not even getting paid. Some people getting paid. I know the Don Danger was paying folks. I, ain't, I don't even care to say it. I don't play for them no more. I used to play for them. I know they were paying folks, send my pro level. Um I know, I think the horseman playing player. Uh, and this ain't, this ain't, this ain't me from my mouth. But this is allegations I, that, that from, from that little trash talk page that they be got going on. You know what I'm saying? It, it, like, let me ask y'all. If you had to go and play four quarters for free, you feel what I'm saying? Four quarters for free. You you go you go to a practice <laughs> of a 42 man roster and there's only nine people there, ten people there, right? But on game day you got to play four quarters for free with these people. Some of the coaches don't show up, but they want to show up the game day. Let's see. Sometimes it may be like player coaches. Um, you had to drive. They ain't throw you on the bus. No plane. You had to drive. Use your own gas money. Feed yourself sometimes. But it was an opportunity to win a ring, get your name out there. Get some film and some experience, even to play on the good legit team. Would you do it? That, ladies and gentlemen, is semi-pro football. Feel me? It's not bad. Like I said, it's not bad at all. Not a bad thing. It's actually fun to me. It'd be fun. Your opportunity to go out there and play ball again. You let's say let's say you were supposed to commit somewhere your senior year. By your junior year, you tell your ACL. You feel what I'm saying? You tell your ACL, you can't go, you can't run, you can't play. College coaches are like, oh, mm, is he gonna be good for your senior? Year? They don't even know that. Now what? You feel what I'm saying? Let's say your senior year. You go to your ACL, break your collarbone in one simple play. A lot of college coaches don't want to look at you no more. 
What would you do? But you want to play ball? Feel what I'm saying? You can always go to college after. But this your senior year. By the time you get surgery, by the time you heal, camp that already started. So what would you do? The average person would give up. Stress is crazy when you, you know, when, when, when pressure bust pipes is what I'm trying to say. So when you got pressure built on you and your mind rambling, you don't think straight. You just ready to give up. You think all oh, the loss. But it's always a choice, always opportunities. And that is when you start thinking, what can I do? What can I do after this? Go to school for a little bit. Can't play college ball. Can't even try out for a team. You're injured. So what do you do? Like, I mean, what I mean, after the injury. This is after injury. So you're already injured, you healed up. Now what do you do? Because you, like, in the healing process, you don't got no film. You, you know what I'm saying? You, you, tell, you, can't, you don't really want to tell them why. Just, I'm just coming off of a broken co shoulder, collarbone shoulder and a, and a torn ACL. Cause then they're gonna look like, oh, he injury prone off the rip. So then what do you do? So, and you know what I'm saying? And like, most people, like I said, they would give up. A lot of people start thinking, well, shoot, what if I start playing semi-pro to get some film, more film? You know what I'm saying? Or let's say it like this. Let's say it's your senior year of college and this happened. And you can't even do pro day, right? You can't do pro day. You can't. You ain't get invited to no combine. Let's say you ain't even go to no big time college. That what you finna do for real? Because I know some people that that played some of pro straight out of high school. Cause it was like, oh, I need a, I, 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 I need it because my coach bores me, and they ain't want to give me my film, or they don't want to do this for me because I don't want to kiss behind, but they want to help this so 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 out. So what you do? Now, like I say, now what if you a senior in college and the same shit happened? What you gonna do? You wanna play pro ball, you wanna go, you wanna do this, you wanna do that. On a professional level, what is you finna do? You gonna play flag and think somebody, like, somebody gonna pick you up to tackle? <coughs> Hell no. What you gonna do? You know what I'm saying? So that right there is why people start playing semi-pro. Because they need an extra experience, film. You know what I'm saying? And it's actual, like, legit teams that look good. They paying money out their pocket to go play on legit looking good field. You feel what I'm saying? They paying to go play on the field for real. To actually feel accomplished on, of playing, having a, a football career. And sometimes it be young cats that still use this and they go. They actually go. I got a dog right now. He finna play in Mexico. He played in Alabama. He finna go play in Mexico because he used this semi-pro film. He signed with agency and used this semi-pro film. And now he finna go play in Mexico. I got another dog. He the, he the top, he the top freaking uh, running back. That's semi-pro. And now he playing arena. You feel what I'm saying? So what y'all talking about? A lot of people say semi-pro booty because of this, no, no, no. This is what you make it, to be honest. Hell, you ain't trying to be in, you, you ain't signing no contract. You signing waivers. and you, We signing waivers, bro. You signing waivers, agreements, and liability papers saying that they're not reliable for your ass if you get injured out there. You reliable for yourself. I hope you got life insurance, my boy. Medical insurance, dental insurance, visual insurance, and all. Because if not, you go out there and get poked in the eye and that bit gone, it's on you. You go break your leg, it's on you. You going to get, you know what I'm saying? You get beat up, y'all shootout happen, you get shot, it's on you. Right. So, yeah. But it's an opportunity to get out there. Some people want to just stick with that. I know people that be smoking like, but oh boy, listen. 
Listen, I know for that be good game. Hella high before the game. You know what I'm saying? Smoke out four, five, six, blunt. It, it get like that. Some people can be drunk, drink before the game. I mean, we play one team, the Georgia Crush. I mean, boy, listen, they detaggle smell like straight Hennessy and a long day of work. <laughs> like, for real, bro, he smelled like Hennessy and a long day of work. And he was mad as hell, so you knew he was on that lip. But that's what they do is show up from, like, you know what I'm saying? Not like you got scouts or anything that, that's like coming right there in your face. Oh, who is this, that, that? You don't never know when the scout be out there. You don't know who be doing what, who is who. That's why if you plan something, you, gotta, you better take a serious period. You better not out there acting a donkey. You know what I'm saying? So I'll be like, I'll be cordial with it. No, I understand. When I go out there, I turn up just like it's a real deal college football pro game. I be I pray, then I go nuts. Cause like I say, you never know who out there. You really don't. You don't be knowing who out there. You don't be knowing who be seeing you. People be looking for professionalism. For real, for real. So give it to them. People look for professional, give it to them. I say it like this. Y'all excuse me, because I am tired. Oh, I am tired, like, for real, for real. But I got to do this, because this got to be something to be, this this, this got to be talked about, because a lot of people don't understand how serious semi-pro is for folks. How people take this to their grave. Like, people that, that, that got injured and could not play football again is in semi-pro now, living a dream, a high school dream, a college dream. It'd be college for some folk. You know what I'm saying? It'd be like that. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Some people do that with other things. Go and get on Call of Duty and be trying to live out the military dream. Or trying to you know, low-key be an assassin that they know they can't be in real life. So why can't a man get on the football field on a different level and do it? And live out his dream that when he got injured. That's, that's a semi-pro act. It's a lot of teams that's fine. It's a lot of teams that suck. A lot of semi-pro teams are good. You got the uh, you got the Seahawks. You got the Metro Atlanta Horsemen. You got the Dalton. Dan- These are the good ones. Dalton Danger. You got the uh, Sunk the Sharks, the Thrashams, the Atlanta Thrashams. You got the uh, I give it to them. The Atlanta Tigers straight. Um, who else? I know you got the South Carolina Snipers. I heard they were straight. Um. This is just for teams I know. That the Atlanta Cobras, they good. Not not the Tennessee Cobras, the Atlanta Cobras. They straight. They they got they, they got that little D one running back boy. Uh boy from East uh Central Michigan University, I think. Eastern Michigan, you know. Not Eastern Michigan, Central Michigan University, something like that. Um Who else? The Alabama still. They they good. Um there's some more teams out there that's pretty straight, but I can't really think of But there's some more teams out there that's pretty straight. You know what I'm saying? To me, um, I ain't going to really say a team suck because any year a team can do something different. A team can go recruit. You know what I'm saying? People move every day. Your, your, whole, your whole starting crew, like, you know what I'm saying, get dispersed, get signed somewhere, can move away, get a new job somewhere, something like that. So I can't really say a team suck. But, I mean, it be teams out there that you know ain't going to never get better. And it'd be beyond, like, player personnel. It'd be, like, player personnel issues. Um, and not just player personnel issues. You could say, shoot, in all honesty, too. it really be because of uh, population. I give it to a person on that one, for real, for real. Because you stay in a small, like, like perfect example. Uh, Calhoun, Georgia. They got the North Georgia Cardinals. Not a sorry team. Not a great team. But the issue is not it's not that the team ain't great because because players or coaches is more so that Calhoun is only so big. Calhoun is more like a, a fifty mile radius. So you know you know what I'm saying? And if in that part of Georgia, if you any kind of fire football, you sign a college. You're not gonna be stuck playing semi pro. And coming out of high school, you know what I'm saying? 
and if you you on a and if you on some pro pro level type stuff, then you know how can I say it? How can I say it? And not sound so harsh. Cal like no Joe Connors wouldn't really be like, oh, I'm finna go to Calhoun to play with the George Carn. No George Carnes. You feel what I'm saying? That it, but but they're they're solid because them players on that team go ham. I played for them. You feel what I'm saying? That's why I would I would I would go back to them before I go to, before I go to the Horsemen. I would go back to North Georgia Cardinal before I go back to any other team because them boys had heart. Like when I said them boys had heart, them niggas play all four quarters. We had like 15, 17 players, and them boys play all four quarters, not giving up. Compared to I done seen dead serious Horsemen, Atlanta Tigers, Cobras. You're like these kind of teams when they get mad, real they'll fold on each other. It is what it is. It's part of the game. You get mad at somebody, you get mad at somebody. But it, 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 it I would have fought well. You know what I'm saying? But shoot, like I say, I go back to play for the North Georgia Cardinals before I play for any other team. Semi pro wide, but I ain't doing semi pro no more. I'm a straight professional. You know what I'm saying? Other than that. I put it like this. If you're looking for a semi-pro team and you live in the Georgia area, go check out North Georgia Car. First, for real. I'm boy going to come up. But I don't, I don't know. It, it's weird to me. It's weird to me. But that, that's neither there or there. So, like, anyway, moving on. So, yeah. And um, I, 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 I give one side to two. On, when it comes to semi-pro, a lot of coaches use that as as a lead way to learn how how to coach. You get know what I'm saying? They the coach Pop Warner, or they the coach a little bit of high school or something like that, and they build their own teams and use that as a lead way to start coaching or something that don't fly like that. You can't you can't experiment. You shouldn't be experiment. You know what I'm saying? But it is what it is. So. Semi pro, that right there is like I say, uh, a pedestal if for all kind of people. Folks that don't want to move on and like play professional just like recreational football, they play semi pro. People that's never had the real, uh, real opportunity to play and couldn't really manifest the way to uh get up to the next level, college or pro, they use semi pro. Listen, it's not bad. It's not good. Like I said, it's just how you make it. If you want to BS it, it's going to show. And I'm going to tell you like this. You go out there and BS for free, that's on you. That is really on you. So y'all stay tuned. We're going to talk more about it. It's getting late and I'm getting tired. Like I said, my podcast be real. I'm going to have some more people on this one. Um, we, we we I need I need to know if y'all next next time I'm gonna go on Facebook next time I'm gonna go on um I'm gonna just record it because I'm trying to get people on here because we are gonna talk about this stuff because y'all gotta understand a lot of my sorry a lot of folks I know play semi pro and they got a lot of stuff to say. Like different experience, different state. Like the semi pros all around, up north, down south, the west, Texas, Arkansas, Alabama, South Carolina, California, New Mexico, what Florida? You know what I'm saying? Utah. They got semi professional all over the place. Illinois, Idaho, Wisconsin, bro. It is all over Washington. So you would be surprised on how, bro, I done seen teams, I'm thinking like, oh, what this is, like, pro pro, like, you know what I'm saying? No, it'd be a semi-pro team sponsored by Nike and crap. Yeah, like, it'd be semi-pro team sponsored by Under Armour because they're that legit. And, and to be honest, they, you don't even say that's, that's semi-pro, that's minor league. But anyway, that's not here today. We're going to talk about some more. Next time I'm going to have some of the players, um, confusing my, old, my teammate, but also the team I play with, you know, um, they're going to jump on with me. We're going to talk about it because they got some things to say, and they know for a fact, like, 
They they got some experiences. Some of them may be good, some may be bad. But we'll stay tuned. We'll get into it. Hey, that's all I got for y'all right now. Um, if y'all can remember, the topic of this is semi-pro football. You get what I'm saying? It's the good, it's the bad, it's the ugly. It be like that. It is semi-pro. So y'all stay tuned. Love y'all. Have a blessed night. Get some sleep. Get some rest. Because I'm darn sure about to. It's Rhino, the people's choice. Heavy hitter, bit banging. We making a big change one day at a time. Y'all stay prayed up. Y'all love God. And y'all keep him first. Peace.